Hi, this is Sam McGuire. I'm doing a quick uh, tutorial here on Logic Pro and doing some drum replacement. You know, I get lots of people asking me, how do you do that? You know, is it just like Beat Detective and Pro Tools? Well, it's not, and I'm not sure um, that you can even think of it in the same way, but it is a pretty cool tool. First of all, um, I've, in, you know, just imported some fairly crappy drums. Here's what they sound like. The snare drum pretty bad. That's where we're going to start. We're going to replace that very first. Now what we can do, and actually one thing that I do like is that while it doesn't sound good, as we play it, you'll see it's pretty well isolated from everything else. We don't have a lot of bleed. That works in our favor quite a bit. What we're going to do though is come in here to factory and we're going to go audio to score. That opens up this thing here. Let's start with the, the velocity threshold down to default of 1. Um, and we're not really going to touch many of these other settings at first. Um, we will make sure that we're on drums fast even though it's not as fast as it could be. There are some moments where they're doing a couple double hits so we want that. Now looking down here, what we want are to see the transients and then the results. We want to see those on the transients, but not in this empty space where maybe a hi-hat or cymbal was hit. So we're going to take the velocity threshold up, and you'll see that these start disappearing. We still have one here, so let's take that velocity threshold up. I'm going to take it up to about 15 or 16. We see that... There's nothing in between these now. Let's drag this down. Just kind of browse through, see if I see any random red flagged hits. And it's looking actually pretty good. That's good. Step number two in this case is to make sure we select the destination track because what this does is translate those transients into MIDI information. And if we do it on the same track, it'll put the MIDI file right on top there. We want to put it down to this instrument track, which I've created, just a default track. And now we'll hit Process. And you can see, it pops up with a score. We don't want that. We want the piano roll. One interesting thing, though, it's registering these as different pitches. You know, snare is one of those instruments that has a very complex harmonic structure and it's going to have a hard time analyzing it. So that's not a problem. What we need to do though is come into functions, go to transform, and let's do a transposition. Instead of adding or subtracting overall, we're going to do a fix function. And let's take this up into the realm of like a C1 kind of area. Select and operate, close that, and you'll see that all of those different pitches were now transposed into a fixed pitch of C1. Coming now into our instrument track, let's load an instrument. In this case, we'll use the Ultra Beat. It has a fairly decent kind of snare bank full of snares. Acoustic snare bank. Take a second to load it up. And for the moment, let's just close it down. I'm going to play some notes here. You'll see which one I'm playing. That's C1. C sharp. D. D sharp. E. F. And on up. So we have a lot of choices here we can mess around with. And the way we'll do that is by just transposing that, uh, the MIDI information up or down. We could do that over here on the left side, transposition. We could do octave at a time or one at a time as well. And then I'll do a real time transposition. Now the methodology here, we can either just add the snare into the original snare or replace the snare. Let's hear how it sounds just with that C1 
soloed. Let's compare it with the other snare. You can hear the bleed on the other snare, but that's okay. One thing you'll note is that the actual snare hits are pretty approximately the same when we talk about velocity differences. That's all fine and good. The sound I'm not too, too keen on, that's fine. Let's mess around and find something else. But overall, we have now just created a whole new drum part which mirrors exactly the timing of the original. And we have the flexibility of changing however we want to. Now we won't have any bleed. You know, we'll have just a clean snare drum. We can go in and alter it as much as we want. We can quantize it as we would normal MIDI. And uh, I'd say that's a pretty cool little trick. Let's just find one other snare and we'll call it good. Let's yeah, start at the beginning. Uh, that's velocity. Let's do transposition. So you could use a sound like this to layer it in. And of course we could put compressors or anything else that we want as well. And there you have the logic method of drum replacement.